Hi, this is Ken Oakle. Let's do a two minute takeaway about the story that everyone's talking about that upset flight attendant. You know, the one who got so upset at customers, they start yelling at them, grabbed a couple beers, and then exited an airplane by the emergency slide. A lot of discussions about this fella, and I think it shows a lot of the problems that we're seeing in the workplace today, where employees are getting up to that point where they're ready to explode. How can we prevent things like this from happening in the future? Three things I want to talk to you about in this two minute takeaway. First of all, if an organization is going to have some sort of change in policy, for instance, airplanes, they started charging fees for everything, restricting baggage, all of these complaints would affect the customers. Who's coming in contact with those customers? In this case, flight attendants. Were the higher ups doing enough to prepare these people to get all these complaints? Were they thinking ahead of ways that they could better communicate with them? Now that communication is our next point I want to talk about. You know, were the flight attendants given anything else to say other than I'm sorry sir or I'm sorry ma'am when customers were complaining? Were they brought into the big picture about why these fees are happening? You know, very often an organization makes a change but just doesn't think about the people who will come in contact with the customers. You have to do that whatever your position is in the organization. Those people who come in contact with your customers are your brand ambassadors. So you have to think about them a little bit more. Finally, I want to talk to you about the idea that people get when they feel stuck. When a job just continues to be frustrating, maybe there's been cutbacks, people are having to do more work than before, and over time the morale just goes down so much. What could be done to improve the situation? Well, let them know if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Is there a plan that the organization is trying to follow? Is there something that can give them hope or a feeling that, hey, things aren't great, but I'm a part of something that's going to really turn things around? So those three points, I think, can really help an organization where employees may be getting close to saying, hey, where's the slide? I'm getting out of here. For more information about me, go to my website, www.kenokel.com. Well, there you can watch some clips of me in action. You can learn more about my programs, and you can read my blog. That's all the time we have for now. Take care.